Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please, please invite your friends. And today we have a very important message to the Indonesian government. Uh, I heard the news actually a while ago about the arrest of our brother Muhammad Case. And we heard the news that they did beat him badly inside the jail. Now, supposedly they did that to him because he was insulting the filthy Prophet Muhammad. And because now we are scared, we will not insult the filthy Prophet Muhammad no more. So this is my message to the filthy government of Indonesia. If you don't free him, I'm going to use the word filthy every here and there. Because the purpose of doing that is to scare anyone from insulting the filthy Prophet Muhammad. We are not scared. And the more you torture Christians in Indonesia, the more we will expose you and the more Islam is dying. And I ask all the Christians in Indonesia, especially those who live abroad, to copy my videos and every video which is exposing the filthy respected Mr. Muhammad. I mean, now you force us actually to respect him because you did beat that guy. I mean, look how strong this God Allah. He need the protection of a bunch of Abdul from Indonesia. Allah is so weak. Allah is less than a fart. I mean, a fart make a noise. Allah don't make noise. Allah is a mute. Allah is daif. Allah is a stupid. Allah is disgusting. Allah is not even a cockroach. I hope I did not offend you, government of Indonesia. Come and arrest me. A bunch of cowards. So you go after a guy who debated a Muslim, who the Muslim was insulting Christianity non-stop, and all of you, you insult Christianity 24 hours, 7 days a week. The second he said the truth that Muhammad is false prophet, you arrest the guy. How filthy, how garbage your government is. And how filthy, how doomed you are to beat a man who never used violence. Is that the best you can do? Well, guess what? Now you will have tons and tons of Muhammad case. All of us, we will be Muhammad case. And we promise you, we will not insult Prophet Muhammad, the child molester. The sixth offender, we will respect him a lot. I'm now convinced that we should respect the faithy prophet who went after a child to have sex with her. Actually, he asked for a hand of a child. She is an infant. You beat the guy? We will beat your prophet non-stop in his grave. We will make him a shish kebab. We will make him the joke of everybody. Is that how heroes you are? A bunch of coward. The boys of Muta. Oh, I forgot we have to respect Muta now. The prophet who ordered Muslim men to go and rent a women for three days and three nights. Look, Muhammad, he liked number three. But he's against Trinity. I mean, everything in this man perverted Muhammad is number three. He shake his penis three times too. Oh, wow. I think if he shake it four times, it's going to fall apart. This is why he stopped with number three. As you know, he's not a person who believe in anything have to do with the three, but he wash his hand three times. He say, Assalamu Alaikum three times. He shake his penis three times. He take an oath three times. He fast three days. And he uh, <clears throat> have orgasm three times. You want to beat that guy? We will beat your prophet up. You saw nothing. We are really intimidated now. 
I mean, look at those filthy policemen. Look at these filthy cowards. Look at those sons of Muta. Look what they did to the man. I mean, you are a hero, man. Brave. I mean, a bunch of guys, they are police. Beating a man who is unarmed, in jail, torturing him because he insulted the filthy prophet. My friend Muhammad, we don't believe in revenge. But we believe the truth have to be said. And you did the right thing. And we stand behind you. And we will do whatever we can to expose the most respected, filthy, perverted, child molester prophet. Now I have a request to the Indonesian people who live in the West. Contact your congressmen. And trust me, they have to listen. If you live in USA, you contact your congressman immediately. And those Christians who they have contact and they, they live in the state, please contact your congressman immediately. Let us do our best to put sanctions in this filthy government. Sanctions because of a human right violation, the freedom of belief, the freedom of speech, and using violent. If the government is like that, what about the Abdul terrorist? Look like that the government of Indonesia is a bunch of ISIS. Filthy, perverted leadership. Now, you know, we have to be honest here. The Prophet was a very good guy. I mean, look, he made the chapters in the Quran saying, don't take Christians and Jews as friends. Because he knew that if the Muslim became a friend to the Christian and the Jews, hate will die. And the filthy, hateful person, Muhammad, he will not have business no more. So take not Christian and Jews, they are real friends, they are your enemies. But listen, we don't hate the Muslims, and we will not hate them. But we will expose all of those who do evil. And the government of Indonesia is nothing but an evil government. It's not only their ustaz as a bunch of scumbags, they don't even dare to speak to me. How many times we offered those ustad? <laughs> the funny they call themselves ustad, which is coming from the Arabic word, would mean uh, a master. Look like they became Buddhas. You, you are masters? Masters in what? Muta? There is a Abdul, he said, that the Quran is a book explained itself. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, the Quran explained itself. Hmm. This Abdul, his name is Is E I C. He's a very hero in posting. He said to a person, his name is Christian Spear. Quran says that, and we have indeed made the Quran easy to understand. Remember then is there any that will receive a demonition? What the heck is that? Okay, Abdul, the one who can explain the Quran so easy, and the Quran is so easy to explain. Can you explain to me this one? Because I don't understand why your mother, she had to give her private part to the Prophet. Remember, it's you who said, it's very easy to explain the Quran. Shall we make this verse in Indonesian people for the in the honor of our friend Muhammad Case? Yeah, let us make it in Indonesian. The only prophet in the whole universe who make a verse coming from the office of Allah. Allah, he wanted Muhammad to be happy. So he went to his office. He said, how I can Muhammad penis happy? Spe specifically, the penis of the Prophet. 
I mean, look, this God, he is so nice. He cared for the penis of the Prophet. I mean, if the penis of the Prophet is happy, Allah is happy. I mean, there is a strong connection, penis and Allah. Look like Muhammad is the penis, Allah is the balls. And they work in total harmony. Listen carefully, I'm not going to assault the Prophet. I just describe him as a penis. Because I'm afraid now that <laughs> the police of Indonesia, they will arrest me. I mean, what is the Indonesian translation? Indonesian translation. I'm trying to find it. Indonesian, Indonesian, Indonesian. Yeah, we have to honor our friend Muhammad. Maybe from now on, we should make it always in Indonesian language. Make videos just showing, even, by the way, my Indonesian is so good. So, a prophet, hey, Nabi, hey, Nabi, hey, Nabi, Nabi, he's a Nabi, he's a Nabi, he's a Nabi. I mean, look at the translation, how funny it is. They translate everything except the word Nabi. <laughs> okay. Sasago, who, Naya, well, I, we have to, we have to, we have to agree. Allah, he told Muhammad, Susu, go home, you know, which means go and F everybody. And who is so so now, ha ha ha, Gaya? Your sister, I mean, the, the, the cousin, and the cousin of your cousin, and the, and, and the cousin of your uncle. I mean, uh, uh, look, look at this long license of effing. The prophet is not perverted. I mean, look at the list. There's nobody left. The whole town is ready for effing with the prophet. And then in the top of that, I don't know which one. Let me see. My, my, I forgot a little bit my Indonesian after the Indonesian police that beat me. They hit me in the head and now I am intimidated. I cannot insult the faithy prophet no more. So, Barasima Kamu Dan Baramaman Mu Kamim. Really? Are you sure? Okay. Uh, uh, so, like, Dari Sadura Laki 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 twice that is that is that is so deep Laki Laki mean go for it you know so to make it uh, more uh, 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 you see remember the guy he said uh, uh, it's very easy to understand brother it's very easy to understand the Quran okay we want to understand now a woman she offer her private part to the Prophet so he can F her explain to me what this have to do with Allah and spreading the oneness of God the way I understand it that there's the only oneness here is the penis of Muhammad and Allah he replaced his God name by the penis of the Prophet because the penis of the Prophet have to be happy Allah he went to his office and he decided to make holy war those are holy words let me continue. Nabi, 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 Kalu, Nabi, Mau, Mau, Magawina, what the heck? All of this happened to the Nabi? So you can F them. And any woman she immigrate with you, you cannot, you cannot put Muhammad with, in the bus with any woman. Any woman she immigrate with the Prophet, you can boom, boom with her. Like, what the heck? We cannot send Muhammad in the train. Muhammad in the train, he is going to F every woman there. I mean, is he, the, is he respected if he is the respected, well-respected effing prophet? Hey, by the way, Muslim book says, look how much the effing issue is a, is a big deal for the Muhammadan. The prophet, he got the power of 40 men in, of men of heaven. And every man in heaven, he have the power of 100 men in earth. So the prophet, he have a power of 4,000 men in Ephim. That's deep. I mean, I was really suspecting that this man is a prophet. But now, after we learned that he is so good in Ephim to the point he get the power of 4,000 donkey. 4,000. I'm using Arabic now. I will type it in Arabic and in English. Hold on. 4,000. Hey, Muhammad Kayas, my friend, my brother. Did you tell them that in the video where you're debating the Muslim why the Prophet, he have a power, his penis have the power of 4,000 men? What does that mean? You know what? I'm not good in mathematics. 
But let us say the average of a normal man, normal man, not like Muhammad, he can do it three times a day. And Muhammad now, he have the power of 4,000 men. That Muhammad, he can have orgasm 12,000 times a day, mashallah. I have to say, mashallah. Actually, I'm going to say the, <clears throat> the boom, boom, shahada. 12,000 orgasm a day. Well, you know what? Even a rabbit, he cannot accomplish that. If we divide 12,000 to 24 hours, let us say Muhammad, he will not sleep, you know. Come on, he don't, he can't sleep, he's busy. If we divide it 20, 20, 12,000 to 24 hours, that means Muhammad is going to have the following number. Where is the equal number in my keyboard? Here we go. Uh, my keyboard is not typing. I don't know why. Let us see again. <sighs> 500 times. No, oh, sorry. Muhammad, you will have 500 orgasm an hour. Everybody, please see, see inshallah. I mean, and you are telling me, Muhammad, case that the prophet is not a prophet? What's wrong with you? This guy with his penis, he can destroy the universe. He can screw America. I mean, look, the Israeli now, the Israeli army is terrified from the penis of the prophet. He's a penis -y prophet. I mean, I don't know how big his <clears throat> uh, body is. But obviously, 99% of it is a penis. And remember, you can't insult the Prophet. If you insult the Prophet, the Indonesian police will arrest you and they will beat you. And by doing that, they stop the insult to the Prophet. Nobody will laugh at him no more. Look, look, we are terrified. We have to admit. That's it. I mean, who can insult the Prophet now? Nobody. So I say to the filthy Indonesian government, I spit on you. And your Prophet is a perverted Prophet. A Prophet who go after children for sex, he is a pedophile. Hey, by the way, there is a guy, he posted a comment, maybe later I will talk about it, maybe tomorrow or the day after. He said, hey Christian Prince, I have a debunk for you. Aisha, she was 18 when she did boom boom with the Prophet. She was 18, you stupid idiot, the muta boy. It says in your book that he died when she was 18. Read with me carefully, Abdul. Uh, you are Abdul, you don't read. You beat. <laughs> you beat and you have a strong penis. By the way, the Prophet, he have a strong penis to the point he could not have babies. And then he invoked his God. Actually, not only babies. I mean, babies is not a problem. I mean, there's people, they have a very strong sexual uh, ability, but they cannot have children. But this is not even a shame. But have you ever heard of a Prophet, he invoked his God? to make his penis stand. His penis never stand, not even for the anthem of Indonesia. I mean, you play the anthem of Indonesia and still the penis of Muhammad is not working. How dare you? So he invoked his God Allah and he sent him a dish of shish kebab. If you remember, there's a guy from Afghanistan, he challenged me to prove it. He said, if you show it to me, I will leave Islam and he left Islam. He could not believe it, that his prophet, his penis is not working. And then he, need Allah to send him a dish of shish kebab and remember this God he say B is going to be how come he could not fix Muhammad penis by B he need kebab well we have to agree kebab have a power I mean come on if you feed your wife kebab every day she will love you if you feed her just a bread she will divorce you the power of kebab so the prophet he married her when she was six years look how decent he is he was busy with Allah he go to the school of Aisha. Aisha, she is playing with the swing. Hey, Aisha, can you go higher in the swing so we can look at your panty? The perverted prophet.
So the prophet, he loves so much children. And this kind of love in USA, we call it bidophile. So my friend in Indonesia, we respect your prophet. He was a bidophile, very much respected. And look what it says, the guy who said to me, we debunk you. You did debunk me? I mean, you killed me, man. What are you doing? This is not a debunk. You say, Christian Prince, here we go. This is the debunk of your video. She was 18 when she married. Like, where, where it says she was 18? She was 18. The guy was dead. She married him after he died. You know what? I heard about necrophilia. Your prophet, he have sex with women who they are dead. He slept with the Fatima, uh, been to Assad, in her grave. When she is dead, they ask him, Prophet, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? He said, that will less the squeeze on her body in the grave. Do you want the Prophet to sleep with your mother in her grave? So she will not be squeezed much by the grave. It will be squeezed only by the Prophet. What a perverted man. So look what it says here. That the Prophet, he married her when she was six. Who said that, Aisha? Are you debunking me or debunking Aisha? Look like Aisha is a fraud too. She lie about her age. Aisha, she was 18, brother. So he married her when she was six years old and he consummated them, his marriage. What do you mean? Say the F word, what consummated? It says, In different hadith, he F her. So he F her at nine. So he was molesting her from six to nine. You know, there's many, they used to go to a movie from six to nine. This is the best time, six to nine. Look like Muhammad was doing that in the movie time. And she remained with him nine years. That means she is less than 18 years old. The Abdul in the chat trying to defend the pervert to the prophet. You see, when the Muslim, they say he, she was 18, obviously they are defending and they knew that he is a perverted man. Now, I'm going to ask the Indonesian people. Are we going to support our brother, Muhammad? He is an ex-Muslim. He was sharing the truth. If sharing the truth is an insult, well, we have still to share the truth. Those cowards, they have to be punished. We have to force government to go after those policemen. Otherwise, they have to put sanctions in the filthy government of Indonesia. And I say to the government of Indonesia, you don't want to mess with the Christian prince. I will make you shish kebab. I will take you one by one and make you the potato of the century. I will make you famous. Maybe somebody can send me the name of uh, the police station there. And if you can post in the comment, who is the one who is behind the torture of this guy so we can report him to the congressmen, senators? Let us make a wave of support for this wonderful Christian. You are blessed, my friend. They try to mute you, but they open many mouths. They try to kill you, but many will live. They try to stop the truth, but nobody can stop the truth. They try to intimidate us, but who can do that? Indonesians, let us have a peaceful revolution against the filthy, perverted government of Indonesia. And I say again, peaceful, never do violence. As you see, they are scared of a word. They are terrified of a word. The guy, he said a word. Look at the look at the strong dean of Islam. Look how strong this religion is. The guy, he said a word. Like what? He said a word. <laughs> do you see how strong this God a lot? And you know, Muhammad, why you don't go back to Islam, my friend? So you can do muta. Zakir Naik, he just posted a, 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 a photo of him, not his son, asking for a wife for his son. 
you know I, I said to myself why this guy he want a wife isn't it the isn't it the woman she she came in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil and look at this devil Muhammad women are coming in the shape of a devil this is how we describe women but his mother is a woman see how insulting he is see how filthy he is a man who don't respect his mother he is a piece of shit excuse my shitty language I don't use this word but I'm really angry actually I take it back this guy don't deserve that word my poopoo is more clean than Muhammad. A woman advances and retires in the shape of a devil. So when one of you see a woman, he should come to his wife. But you idiot, if a woman, she is the devil, why you have a wife? She is the devil too. I mean, have you ever heard of more stupid statement more than this guy? He don't want to admit that he is the devil. He is the one who is staring at women walking by the street. The prophet, he saw a woman. Look at the chapter name. Recommendation to the perverted by the perverted. Recommended recommendation to the perverted by the perverted. To the one who sees a woman. He says, what? I'm telling you, you cannot let Muhammad in the bus. He go in the bus, he start looking at the bums of women. He sees a woman and is attracted to her. Go to his wife. Why are you attracted to a woman and she, you have a wife, you donkey? Oh, I'm following the perverted prophet. He taught us good manner. You go in the bus, you go in the train, you go in the car, you walk in the street, you see a woman. And I don't want to say, I don't want to tell you exactly what you see in that woman. Huh? I mean, focus with me, focus with me. Yeah, let us stare at her nose, not something else. We are decent Muslims. We don't look at women. Uh, the prophet, he look at women, and what he do? He get horny, He's, he keep looking, 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 looking. Looking where, and at what, and why? The guy, the perverted guy, he have 13 women at home and hundreds of sex slaves. Recommend, look at the name of the chapter, it's, it's a holy religion. Chapter recommendation to the one who sees a woman. Can we compare between this statement and the Lord's statement, Jesus? We cannot. We cannot compare between light and darkness. We cannot compare between holiness and filth. So the prophet, he saw a woman walking, walking down the street in front of the pervert, in front of the pervert, la, 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 la. Like, what the heck? You cannot let your wife walk in the front of the prophet. Actually, in the book of Al-Qurtub, it says, if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can F her. And as long women are devil, why all women, including Muslim, don't insult this filthy perverted? This is how Islam see you. So I want the women to wage war in the cult of Muhammad. Because a man who believes that women is the devil, well, he is a son of a devil because he is born of a woman. You see how stupid he is? But anyway, I want my brother Muhammad, case to think carefully. Why you don't go back to Islam and then the terrorists will like you and they will give you their daughters to do muta with them three days, three nights inside the jail if you want. I mean, if you don't want to go out, they will send you their daughters to do boom, boom with them inside the jail. Look, look at the wise prophet. He is very, very decent, not perverted. Allah Muslims are said, and look, they put Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah. Have you ever heard of a prophet? Allah, he pray on him. Because he's God, not God. It's not Allah is the God. Muhammad is the God. The penis of Muhammad is the God. He said, if a man and a woman agree, look, between two bracket to, to marry. <clears throat> Why you put it there between bracket? Is it there or not? It's not. Where is the word marry? It says, Fa'ishraton. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Those filthy, they made me angry. like a music in my ears ayyuma rajulin wa imra'a tawafaqa fa ishratun ma baynahuma thalathu romantic i feel like i want to sleep now look how romance if a man and a woman 
they agree not to marry, to F each other, you filthy coward liar. And since when there is something called marry temporarily? Aren't you even ashamed to change it and make it temporarily marriage? Hey, Abdul, the police station leader, I want to marry your daughter temporarily. Look, I don't have a house, so you can put me in jail, and you can marry me to your daughter three days, three nights. I will pay. Because the condition of this called <coughs> marriage, you have to pay her for wages. For what? For using her private part. Can you believe it? And actually, the Muslims, the Muhammadan website, they don't shy to say that this kind of marriage is a rental. Let me find you the Muslim website, which is explaining how amazing this religion is. And remember, we can't insult the Prophet because the Indonesian police, they will put us in jail. We can't do that. Alislam.org, let me read it for you on the screen. <clears throat> Al-Islam.org explained to us, very Islamic website, mashallah, alhamdulillah, the Prophet penis is very strong. From the blessing of Allah, his penis is so powerful. Hey brother, how he can have 500 orgasm an hour when the hour have 60 minutes? I mean, 500 orgasm an hour divided to 60, that's mean he will have an orgasm every eight second. Even me, I cannot do that. I have to admit. That's too much. I can do it every 10 seconds, but every 8.3333. And look, even the calculator giving me number of threes. The number three is following the guy wherever he go. It's a miracle. So now, what is this muta thing? which the Muslim they say, oh, the Prophet, he forbid it. Ah, so he allowed it. Is it bad or good? This is additional proof that Muhammad is a perverted man. When people just start questioning, what kind of a Prophet? <laughs> he allowed men and women to sleep together without marriage. He forbid it, then he allowed it, then he forbid it, then he allowed it. What's wrong with this guy? He was a drunk? Which part of him is drunk? Because as you see, he have a 500 orgasm in one hour every eight second one orgasm even a rabbit don't do it fast that fast so brother here explanation for the muta of the prophet which he is very respected it says in some work a special term is applied to women who participate in muta in arabic it says musta'ajara what does that mean rented women very decent religion. I invite you all to convert to Islam so you can rent women. Rent. This is how they say it in Russia. Rent. I want to rent a woman. Can you rent a woman? Because the Prophet who ordered to rent a woman he is very respected. And by the way, the one who said that, her name is Olga from Russia. Like, what the heck? A rented woman? I mean, you cannot insult the Prophet Muhammad Kais. Brother, what's wrong with you? This very open-minded Prophet, you can rent a woman, halal. And then it says, rented women, muta, considered as a kind of rental, because in general, man, basic aim, in this kind of marriage, they call it marriage, you can't believe it. The sexual, you see the, you see the, you see the nobility, you see the romantic. The basic aim of this action of Allah, Allah allowed the Prophet to have muta. Muta, he told the Muslim, do muta. Muta said to the Muslims, I love muta. And muta is a blessing from Allah. I mean, everybody having sex. I'm looking in my backyard, what is that? There's two flies having, how do they have a muta? I saw a fly in the top of the other fly without marriage. Subhanallah. 
two fly, one of them in the top of the other one, without marriage, temporarily. Here we go. She, he left her because it was temporarily. Is that a fly marriage? So the basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of women and in return, look at this, look at the beautiful God of all. Man, a return of this enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money or a property. That decency. Muhammad case, my friend, how you say that the prophet was a bad person? How you say that? I don't know actually what you said exactly because my Indonesian is so bad since the police of Indonesia did hit me in my head. I forgot most of it. The same as the Prophet, he forgot tons of chapters in the Quran and he said, uh, uh, you know, uh, thank you for reminding me of certain chapters I forgot. Like the Prophet, he forgot chapters. The Muslim, they don't. I mean, do you see the stupidity? They say that the Quran is a pres preserved and later we find the goat eating the Quran. And please don't talk about the goat who ate the Quran, otherwise the Indonesian police they will go after her, and she is a she have a family. My my keyboard is not working again. I have the most weird keyboard. That's it. I have to buy one, even though it's expensive. Oh boy. Oh, don't worry. The police of Indonesia they will pay for my new keyboard. I'm typing. You see, it's not working. $99. Ah, come on. Ah, stuck. Oh boy. This letter work. This letter doesn't work. Oof. That's it. Anyway, you know the hadith. If, if the admins can post it for me so I can open it and show everybody how beautiful the Quran, the preserved Quran, who a, a, a goat ate it. You know, my keyboard works in English fine, but doesn't work in Arabic. Hey, Indonesian police, are you going to arrest the goat who ate the Quran? I mean, honestly, what do you think about this idea? Don't you think this is a golden idea? She insulted the Quran. Shame on you. You should put right now a, a, a warrant to search. Let us try again. Ah, now it's not working, finally. Finally. Ah. Look at this. Aisha, she is reporting. Are you going to arrest Aisha now? Please don't arrest Aisha. She's six years old. She has no idea what she's saying. She's saying the truth. But she's just a child. Oh, she is a woman now. She is six years old. At that time, brother, they grow so fast. Actually, I know that, you know, like in that time, you used to put a seed of a palm tree after two days would be 10 meters. Yeah, brother, because it was hot at that time. Very hot at that time. The prophet himself, he was born yesterday, a day after, which is 40, 40 years, he became a prophet. The verse of stoning to death, the stoning and breastfeeding. Don't talk, please, about breastfeeding now. Don't go there. The police of Indonesia will arrest me for speaking adult language. Breastfeeding for adult? Like what? And this was in the Quran. The Quran have verses encouraging us to be decent people, adult who go to women and breastfeed women to adult. Ten time? I mean, what about two time? Not enough. The men are hungry. I mean, come on, all of us, we know that men are so hungry. You wake up in the morning, you are hungry. You go at night and you are hungry. At last you are hungry. So the Prophet of Allah, he come to us with the wisdom of Allah, that a man, he can suckle the <clears throat> nipples. I don't want to talk about nipples because this reminds me of a historian which the Muslims are so proud about. His name is Ibn Battuta. Ibn Battuta was so decent like the Prophet Muhammad. He said that he went to an island and all the women there have three breasts. This guy, he did beat Muhammad in his lies. All the women there, they have three breasts. Are you sure they are women, not goats? Anyway, so the Prophet of Allah, 
he have verses in the Quran stoning to death and adult breastfeeding ten times and those verses were revealed look at the word revealed I mean I have to enter this is this is a big word look at this show respect please bow down bow down all of you hey Indonesia Muslims bow down to the word revealed come on the police will arrest you what's wrong with you it's revealed adult, adult breastfeeding revealed it's holy this is holy verse actually we have to agree there's many men they worship boobs the booby God he sent his booby religion revealed saying you can go and suck the breast of a woman ten time you know I'm so upset because he did not make it like ten thousand time I mean what Allah will do is just add two a few zeros I mean you are making it and making it why only 10 times do you think someone like Christian Prince he will not be angry no more after 10 times are you kidding me so are you saying to me now if I eat cheese kebab 10 times in my life I'm satisfied like hello can somebody contact the Prophet Allah to fix the number This is a true religion, not like Christianity. And yeah, come on, you know what? Christianity, you go there, you get bored. There's no sex, there's no boobs. There, you know, imagine the penis of the Muslim will be in, in in the heaven endless. So the police leader, what, what, where's his picture? The guy, the police. Hold on, where's the guy? The guy here. Uh huh. Yeah, those guys in the picture here in the police station. Look at this guy. Those guys behind our friend here, their penis will be endless, brother. I mean, this is the best way to capture somebody. Like, I wish Osama bin Laden, his penis was so big. Otherwise, how he can hide? I mean, he can hide himself, but he can't hide his penis. I mean, think about it. So the police, brother, the police, Allah will increase the size of the Rabinus, will make it endless. And brother, who knows better than Allah? Who used to send his message to the Prophet in the sound of a bell? Taradam, 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 taradam. Uh, I'm calling Zakir Naik. Great and Prince, I told you 1,000 times to call me. Uh, Zakir Naik, I'm not calling you. This is a revelation from Allah arriving to you in a sound of a bell. Oh, sorry. I thought if you calling me, so how come you are talking to me now if you are not calling me? Uh, because I, I know, like I, I hacked the line, like, hello. Hey, Zakir, can you explain to us how the Prophet here received Quran in a sound of a bell? Taradam, taradam. Great and Prince. Allah is all powerful. Hey, okay, uh, all powerful. So he sent to your prophet a Quran in Arabic or in the sound of a bell. I go to the hadith. It says that the prophet read the Quran in the sound of a bell. Okay. And then the prophet, he did what? He translated the bell sound into Arabic? Exactly. How you can do that? It's impossible. I understand. But the prophet, he have a very special skill. Uh -huh. So Allah said to him, Taradam, Taradam. Taradam, Taradam. Taradam, taradam. And then that became Bismillah, Exactly. Chris and Prince, I know that, that you're improving and you are getting better. Hey, Zach and I, should I go to jail too? I would love to see that. Hey, keep it dreaming, Abdul. I mean, look at this wisdom. Allah, he sent Muhammad a Quran in the sound of a bell. How it became in Arabic? And what make it funny that Muhammad, he said that bell is the instrument of the shaitan. Like what? Yes, brother. The bell is the instrument of the shaitan. Who said that? Your stupid prophet. 
respected stupid prophet. Sorry, I cannot insult the prophet. Come on. The police of Indonesia will arrest me. The prophet, look at this. P B U H. It's like a chemical thing, you know. The prophet is full of chemical. You squeeze him, mayonnaise come out. Ketchup. You name it. P B U H. Okay. So the prophet said the bell is one of the musical instrument of shaitan. How many musical instruments shaitan he has? Look at this shaitan. Keyboard, drum, bell. Muhammad he have none. And then the prophet he receives verses from Allah in the sound of a bell. So the stupid Muhammad, he just admitted that he is receiving the musical instrument of shaitan. That's deep. I mean, who can be more smart than the prophet of his intelligence? So my friends, especially people from Indonesia, we stand with our brother Muhammad case. But talk is cheap. We need to do something. For those who live, in Western countries, not in Islamic countries. My brothers, you have a duty. You have a duty to call whoever you can. Call your congressman. It costs you a call. Send an email. Follow, with, follow up with the phone call. Say, hey, I, I sent you an email. Did you receive it, sir? He have to listen to you. In the West, they do listen. They have to. By law, they have to. Let us force sanctions in this filthy government of Indonesia who torture a man just because he was having a debate live in YouTube. And because this man, he left Islam, he need more protection from all the hundreds of thousands they took them out of Afghanistan. Those are Muslims and nobody will kill them for leaving Islam because they did not leave Islam. Let us help the man and not just to say we pray for you. So who want to do something today and he send contact to his Congress or senators, give me one in the chat. Give me one which is a promise you will do something. I don't want to cheap talk. We have to do something. The guy, he might die anytime soon. Send to everybody, United Human Rights Council, whatever. Send the pictures, send the videos, send all the evidence they need. Let us do something. And I promise you, the government of Indonesia, we will never respect your faith, prophet. It doesn't matter how many time and how many people you kill. Cowards you are. Cowards. You are the terrorist, not ISIS. Because you do the same as ISIS. And you claim that you are the legal department of government, which means you are nothing but a legal department of ISIS. So my friend, I see only few people give me one. Look like only few Christians here care to save this person. How many? We have almost 2,000 people watching. Can we have at least 1,000 people they want to do something at least? Imagine your son is this man. Imagine you is this person and nobody care for you. We have to do something immediately. And actually me, myself, I apologize because I heard about it a few days ago or even more. And 
I thought it's just like, you know, they question him, etc. You know, what he said in the YouTube, but I never thought they will go that filthy and that down. So let us do something, my friends. Otherwise, you will be next. And we say to our friend and our brother, you have a family everywhere. Now people love you more and more. I never met you. I never know you. I never spoke to you. But here we go. We are behind you. And I promise you the government of Indonesia, the filthy perverted government of Indonesia who is full of bars. Bars is okay, protected by the government. Drinking, prostitution is big business. But the guy, he is defending his faith, speaking about Jesus, that he we don't want Muhammad. We beat him. See how perverted this government is? This is how they can protect Islam, because Islam is nothing. If Islam and God of Islam is strong, he do not need those people to protect his religion. The Quran says, they try to distinguish the light of Allah. Look at the light of Allah can distinguish by you two. You need to protect the light of Allah, which does not exist. I mean, you see how much light to the point Somalia have uh, no Christmas tree. I mean, at least you need to have a light go on and off, on and off, to have a Christmas tree in Somalia. But there's no electricity at all. Your countries are collapsing. And now you try to make people busy with this guy because you don't want people to question the government for all the big problems the people are suffering from. No jobs, no work, no money, no tourism, no, 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 no. And now we take the attention from all of this to this man so the people will forget all the problems of the filthy government of Indonesia. This is what they do to direct your attention from your suffering. So if you are a Muslim, you will be seeing with this guy. He is the guy. He is the guy behind all the bad things you have in your country, not the government. If you don't have a job, he is behind it, right? If you cannot make enough money for your family, he's behind it. He insulted the prophet. very filthy government i spit on you and then after i spit on you i will take my spit and i wash it in my laundry machine and then i will wash my laundry machine because my spit was on you filthy government of indonesia again this has nothing to do with indonesian we love indonesian people but those filthy government always do that. They do that in Egypt, they do that in Syria, they do that in every country. When they want people to be busy from the problems, they create a problem to take the attention of the crowd. So people will not notice why they are poor, why they are hungry, why their daughter have to go and do work in prostitution to feed their children. Why we have bars? Yet this is Sharia law country. Hypocrite, coward, liars. So we love Indonesia. Even Muslim Indonesians, we will not hate them. But the government of Indonesia is a filthy like filth. Coward as cowardness can be. And you cannot intimidate us, you coward. And this is the result of what you did. Take my videos, share it everywhere. And I'm thinking actually now, I will make maybe a little book maybe for Muhammad Kayas in case something happened to him, have his name on it. I hope not. I will go and do that part. I hope he will be free soon and he will go home healthy. But if they did something bad to him, I will put your name in my book. And you will be in the book of the Lord, for sure.
I want to say thank you all for being here. And I want to see how many of you would do the job to contact their congressmen, their senators. In every country you are, there is. Especially if you live in the West. Do something. It is time for work. Prayer is needed. But prayer without work is the same as the Lord He said. Or the same as the Bible says, from their fruits, you shall know them. You have to give fruits. So can we make a call? Or we are cheap even to make a call and send an email. How cheap we are. We don't have time for a guy, his life at risk. And what his crime? They are not beating him because he's a child molester like Muhammad. Or a thief. Or a rapist like Muhammad. But because he was defending his faith, they beat in a Muslim. His fault is that he is living in a country controlled by ISIS. Shame is a shame. And with your shame, we shame you, filthy government of Indonesia. Thank you all for being here. I hope soon we will see good fruits from people who promise to do something and will not sleep over it. And we will see you soon again, maybe tomorrow. Christ is Lord. Islam is from the devil. And Muhammad is nothing but a perverted, filthy man. Killer, crime, monster. Every step of his life was a crime. From a child molestation, to rape of a children, to stealing, to rape women, kidnapping them from their husband, taking the money, torturing people, asking them where they hide their gold and silver. And not to forget a prophet who make verses about women, they have to give their private part for him because Allah wants him to be happy. And the Muslim who says, we can't question Muhammad, we say to you, we can. You cannot because you are a coward. We can just watch. Thank you. God bless you, and this is humbly your brother, Christian Prince. And send my greeting to our hero in Indonesia. We love you, man. We love you. You are the brave one who was willing to say what nobody dared to say in the heart of the devil cage. You are a brave man.